Hey there everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery and tonight we're going to make a cow out of a cow bell. Um, so hopefully we'll get some people on. If you are not watching live and you don't see the big red button up at the top, then please uh, let me know that you are watching replay and I will be glad to say hello to you. Um, hopefully we'll get some people on. I just sent out a telegram, so hopefully you got that. I know that it's last minute and I was a little bit longer at the bank than I thought I was going to be, so it took time and everything, and then I came home, made a shelf for the bathroom, and a little shelf for over here, so I've got to do all, you know, I had to do all that, so anyway, hey Miss Patty, Miss Jerry, how are y'all doing today? Thank you for painting the page, I appreciate it. Hey Miss Vicky, how are you doing? I got my tea here, I'm thirsty. We ate lunch out and everything. So, let me see here. I got my stuff backwards. Hey, Bonnie. How are you doing? I'm going to take this apart, okay? So, all right. I saw this on Pinterest, and I'm using a little bit different things. Hey, Miss Kim. Thanks for painting the page, Miss Vicky. Hey, Joanne. How are you doing? Hey, Patty girl. I was busy today. I had a lot to do. I had to make sure that I got a bank account before I got a job because I would need the bank account to put my check in. Hey, Sandra Green. It's good to see you. So good to see y'all. So, let me put that under there. This is my cowbell, okay? This is a an old cowbell. I got it somewhere. I don't even know. It probably was when I went to Texas in Canton. And, um, it actually has the bell in there, but it doesn't move. I don't know if it has to do with this. Probably this has something to do with it. Not sure. But this side of it is all damaged, okay? It's been in, but we don't care about that side. We just care about the other one. Thank you for that, Miss Kim. And thank you for sprinkling, Joanne. Appreciate you. So, um, this is going to be the back. This side is fine. It's just really old, okay? It's not even oval like it should be. Hey, Miss Lori, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, let me try to lift this up so I can get it out of the way. It won't go all the way to the other side, but it will get out of the way on the edge here. So that is what it is. That's the bell. Lord have mercy. Wonder if I can hammer that in. Do I have a hammer? <laughs> Just so it's in enough that it does not move. Hey, Miss Sharon. All right, let's see. I know I have a hammer in here. I just don't know what I did with it. Hmm. Don't you just love it when you don't know where things are? I did have it over there. Let me see if it's over there, just in case. I've done had it every which way. Yeah, it's here. This is my baby one. <laughs> this basically is just the head and one handle, you know? <laughs> Squirt some glue on it. It might work, but that big old ball right there, that's what that is. I wish there was a way to get it out. I don't know how that... I just thought maybe if I could jam it in there. What do y'all think? <laughs> what am I doing trying to put this in here? But I don't know that it's going to work. Maybe I can do the other side. <laughs> I just don't want it to move. And I don't want it to make a lot of noise either. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, Miss Connie. Good to see you. Hey, Sharon. Lord. Hmm. I was just hoping. I don't think it's going to work it won't work because it's me glue the ball to the side that's a good idea okay let me do that we'll use this kind of glue and and that kind of glue <laughs> man oh mercy Oop, I need one with a point on it Where's the pointy ones? They're all not pointy. 
<laughs> I've taken the points off. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let's see if it'll do. Mm, barely. I have just a message, <laughs> Kim. We have John's grandma's old cowbell. Uh, see, it won't hardly come out. What's the problem? Let me see if I can get a better, better stick. This one's got a better stick on it. The other one had paint on it too. All right, let's see here. That isn't gonna work because it don't go all the way through there. What's something else I could use? Here we go, here we go. This one's thin enough. I don't know what that is, but. Oh, there it goes, okay. All right, let's see what we can do. Let me just, I just gotta have that to the side. We don't want that to be, maybe I can just put it up to the corner. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of glue. I say I am. And then maybe clean this edge off. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with this. I don't leave it open or anything. Do y'all have that happen to your glue? Watch me like have it glued to it and not being able to get it off. Hey, Cynthia K. Wood, how are you doing, girl? All right, let me see. Let me put a bunch of this and put that little puppy to the side. All right. So there, see that? Well, you can't really see that, but we'll hold it for a minute. I really miss seeing, I know, me too. She is doing better. I just think, you know, sometimes you need a break and that's probably what it is. Okay, so that was good. Y'all are genius, as usual. And this is, I don't know what that is on there. It's just a stain or something. So he's got a blemish like a pimple at the bottom. Yeah, she's she's okay. She's just needing a rest for a minute. So it's okay. She'll be back. I I told her she better be back. So, okay. What I saw when I looked on Pinterest, I just happened to flip through. I don't know. I wasn't even looking for this, okay? This, I got this off of Timu. Um, it's not a real one. At least I don't think it is. I don't know, but it, it doesn't look as big as one. It's also kind of more you instead of like that. I don't know. But anyway, um, this, spoons, which I already cut them, okay? Because I needed just a little bit on the bottom. And this, and then this. But this is not, you know how you used to get these old ones and they were long, okay? They were longer than this. So this I'm not going to use because it's too short, okay? It would have been perfect except for this is not long enough to look like this, okay? Hey, Miss Margaret, how are you doing? Hey, Miss Becky, you have a bell like this that you need to paint. Yeah, I'm going to do this one with, as a cow, okay? Um, I've got some like this that I bought that I was putting um, University of Mif Mississippi Bulldog on here. Um, they use cowbells all the time um, in that specific sport or whatever. Um, but I thought these were wider. They're not wider. They're thinner and taller. And then um, I still have three of them left, so I do need to paint one. And I'll do that on a live a different day, okay? Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Minnie. How are you doing? So, and this one has the bell in it, too. I mean, you could use it. And that's what I wanted, but I just wanted it wider. Do you know these cowbells, to purchase these, are very expensive? Um, if anybody knows where to get some cheap, let me know. But I just wanted a plain white one, but then you have to scuff it up. Do you see how shiny it is? I can't tell. There it goes. You see how shiny? Um, you have to scuff it up a little bit and then paint over it to be able to paint a scene on it. So it's kind of bad, you know. But um, instead of using this, 
we're going to use some jute because it looks brown and good and all that good stuff. So we're going to do that. And I went out there and Mike had a whole bunch of stuff in water. So we're going to use these. They really needed to be a little bit bigger. And I bought bigger ones, okay? I bought big. But these are brand new and I don't want to use silver on there. And I don't have time to be making them yucky like these. <laughs> Everybody's saying, hey to Miss Minnie. <clears throat> so we're just going to... um do it like this, okay? And what I ended up having to do, let me see if I can move you down just a little bit. Don't worry about my head, okay? That's about as much as I can get it without it falling falling all the way down. But what I did was I just kind of looked at this this way, and we'll have to use the glue again. Now, all of this is not going to set up as quickly as I want it to, but we'll use hot glue, and hopefully it'll do for y'all to be able to see, okay? These are gonna be the ears, okay? I had two spoons, luckily, that were the same size that were the smaller type instead of the big one. So we're gonna take it. Now this is what I saw. You know, it doesn't show you how to make it, but this is what I thought, okay? You can see the idea? All right, so I'm putting that in there and then this will sit on that. All of this will be together like that. And then this is going to go down here. I'm going to paint little white on here. And then we're going to put these little buttons on there to make the eyes. Okay, I've got three different sizes of these. Let me show you. I might be four, but these are three that I know of. Oh, great. Just ignore everybody, okay? So I have three different sizes right here, but we're gonna use the big one because this is pretty big. It's probably um, five or six inches across, okay? Thank you, Miss Corinne. I appreciate that. But it's gonna be cute, but we want him to be dark colored, okay? The first thing we need to do is paint our ears. So we're gonna get a dark brown for that. And I have it, we've got burnt umber. And I appreciate this. Appreciate y'all being here. We're just gonna use this plate that I already have. But this will kind of, you know, mesh with this. And then we'll put some pink in the middle like we always do. And that'll be good. So let me get this water off of here. Yes, thank you so much. Do not say anything. Just ignore and go on about your business. So we're going to do the front and the back of this. These were sitting out in the weather, and they have some old mold on there. <laughs> so, oh well, we're going to paint over the mold. Because a few of them, they were sitting out in the weather out in the shed out there. And the weather kind of got to them a little bit. So, hopefully y'all like this. It's cute. I'm like, oh my goodness, Bonnie goes, are you going to be coming on? I'm like, well, I was going to, but I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Where's the other one? Here it is. And um, so, we're just going to do all of this. I might take a different color and put on top of it, but I mostly want it to match that. See, it's pretty much matchy. Matchy, match, match. And I'm doing well, Corinne. How are you doing? Everybody likes cows and pigs. I do, anyway. Most people do. So, we're just gonna do our cow and pig. You know, we've done pigs. Now we're gonna do cows. Alright, we're gonna dry this. Let me move them over here. I've done... Oop, I forgot the back on this one. Let me do that before I dry. I'm getting it all over my hands and everything, but that's okay. All right, let me dry. And then we'll be able to stick it on. But we're going to glue it with the two different glues. So we'll just dry it all. But it does match this. This is real... Um, old metal. Let me turn it over.
So did y'all have a good day today? What did y'all do? I did all the bank and all that good stuff. All right. So, what we want to do, we're going to do them in layers, okay? So, we're going to, let me um, get that off of there. Lord, I'm going to lose them <laughs> before you know it. All right, so I can make sure where it goes. We want about two inches from the end. We had a farm and we had a cow and a chicken. Deep clean in your kitchen. All right. So we want to know where these go, okay? These are perfect for little ears. Let me make sure that we get them right on here. We got to know exactly where we want to put them. All right. So now we'll take this off so we can adhere this to this. You slept in until about 1030 this morning. Were you not feeling good or you just wanted to sleep in? I understand that. You saw the pictures of Nathan and love them. I love, love that boy. He is something else. You know what? Let me see here. Let me get a pencil so I can mark where these are. All right. So I'm going to take this and we're just going to go right across here like that, okay? And then I'm going to take the hot glue and we're going to do a good bit of that. And we're going to put it on there. Let me make sure. Yeah, I want it out just a little. Oh, it's adhering quickly. All right. So that way, we're going to do it the opposite way on this one. You found out today I bruised my humerus bone. Oh my goodness, and strained your shoulder and arm muscle. What are you doing, girl? It's easy to hurt ourselves, you know it? You're not a morning person. I'm a morning person, but I get up later and later all the time. All right, so now I'm going to go down just a little bit. Now, we're just going to put it right here. We're going to put this right here. And we're going to put hot glue on top of that. A big bunch of it. And then we're going to set this on top of it. Hopefully. That's terrible. All right. Let me get, I'm just holding this for a hot minute, y'all. Cleaning and organizing your small craft space. We have to do that all the time, don't we? Oh, it's getting all over everything. I better put that in there. Yeah, I'm constantly cleaning stuff. I think it's going to hold, y'all. That's pretty good. All right, then we're going to take this while I still need it. We're going to put these down here, and I'm going to put them about right here and right here, okay? So we're just going to get some glue and some hot glue. It's just not a whole lot of room. Now, hot glue may hold it for a hot minute, but this is going to hold it for forever, Hopefully. Well, let me go ahead and put this back on here. 
Hey, Jason. Thank you for those stars. You're so sweet. I didn't even know you were there. All right. So hopefully those will stay after they've been sitting for a hot minute here. And then we're going to get some of this, okay? Um, I don't know how to do this. Maybe go across and then just put some down, or we could just do it like this and then undo them. I think that's what I'll do. You got your foot stuck in a mug in the horse pasture and fell front and cut myself from face painting in the mud. Oh my goodness gracious, girl. That wasn't recently, was it? <laughs> What are you doing face painting in the mud? It must have been when you were a kid, right? Too long without being organized. I know, girl. It's it's a mess. All right, now we don't want it too much because our eyes need to go right in here. So I was going to do it. There we go. We're going to do it from this. I know if I... Maybe if I do that... Hmm. Y'all have to give me an idea here. It's hard to be organized, you know? And then you use stuff, and then you... I mean, it's just a mess. I think about right there. Let me see what I can do. And then, if I do another level... Hmm. Let's see. Let me do two and just see what that looks like. I had to let your crafts go. Yeah. So let's see here. And then if I, well, well this one's too long. We're going to unravel it here in a minute. What's face painting? Literally what it sounds like. Just painting on your face. <laughs> oh, planting? I think she meant painting, right? All right, let me see here. We're just going to glue this down first. I don't want it down too far. Let me just do this. Yeah, this is probably good. Let me just do, let me do some of this kind too. Oh, she just fell on her face in the mud. You know, I'm going to have to make that unravel before we put it on here. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. I just want it to be normal up at the top. Let's just see what we got going on. And I still need to cut some. It's my deal. All right. Let me see. We can always cut it. All right, so this is pretty good. We're gonna do, it's kind of a hot mess for a minute there. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this. Ooh, I don't want that in the mud. Stopped yourself from falling. Oh my goodness gracious, girl. All right, we're going to take these one at a time and putting them here. And 
and then we're just going to keep going and doing it that way. Got all this glue on top of this. I just love it. <laughs> How are we doing? All right. <laughs> Some of these are going to have to be straight, right? Y'all got to be more careful. <laughs> this is so long. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? Let me cut some of this. Let me get that spatula. Almost a week. Oh my goodness. It was almost a week before you could see the surgeon. How awful. Uh oh. Have you got to have surgery? All right, let me cut some of this. This one's too long. <laughs> Y'all, I'm making a big old mess. You're going to have to try this cow. Yes, try it. And put it on um, Hummingbird Crafters. Now, I'm going to go just on hot glue right in here. We're just going to, hold on. I'm going to go on top of this a little bit. Just right in here. Yeah, y'all need to do it. Let's see. And you can do something else if you have a better idea than this jute. I don't know about y'all, but the jute's <laughs> funny. Maybe I can go up here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some and fill this in right in here. That's a better idea. Going to do it. Going to do it. Just started physical therapy. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes it'll get worse before it gets better, y'all. All right, we're going to go right in here. Right in here. Yeah, that's looking better. That one piece, it fell off. Kind of frayed. I don't want it to fray all the way individuals. Hey, Janet Sherman, how are you doing? So good to see you. Your son was just on here. All right, one or two more right in here in the middle. Everybody's saying hey. We're going to do one right here in the middle, and we should be done with that part. Now, this is sort of a Highland cow, y'all. This is my version. <laughs> My version of the Highland Cow. All right. Just know that it's got lots of, uh, lots of glue boogers. Let's see if we can get them off. And that does burn if you leave it on there good enough. Have y'all ever tried to burn that stuff? It's pretty cool gonna be so cute. Thank you, Miss Tony. How are you doing today? All right. These are on. Look here. So far. Isn't it cute? How cute. All right. Oh, it's trying to come off. 
It's not on there good enough. Let's see. I have a feeling you're going to have to really put a lot of glue on there and you'll have to not show it like I did. This part is not coming out. Just the wood onto the metal. Is there a better glue for wood and metal? Ow. Thank you. It's doing pretty good. I just think that this glue has to set up for a while, like 24 hours. And that's where our issue is. If I was making this and then I could let it sit here, which I'm going to, but I wanted y'all to see it. Cement glue. I'll have to, uh, I don't know if Mike has any. I'm going to hold it this time. But look how cute. We don't even have the eyes on yet. Wood glue. I would think it wouldn't do for the, um, the metal, the wood glue. It'll be okay for the wood part, but not for the... Alright, so we're going to have to put this down. Alright, it's not exactly straight and all, but that doesn't matter. Once it's there, fast stick. And I haven't even bought any fast stick. Mm. That's, that's a good idea, Corinne and Vicky or Vicky. Super glue. This this is sort of like it's clear grip. This is contact adhesiveness. It says it bonds metal, glass, fabric, wood, ceramic, leather, paper, and plastic, and more. So this should do it. It's just that it's not quick enough to dry. JB Weld. I do have some JB Weld. But look at this thing. Is this not the cutest? Okay. All right. So, there. Now, I'm going to take some white paint, y'all. We're going to make a an oval shape. I'm having trouble with this. Let's see. It's a cow. No, they're not perfectly shaped. You're right. So, I'm good. I mean, the bottom should be okay, so it should sit on a shelf or whatever. Whoops. This is perfect most of the time, but after you've used it for a while, it's kind of a mess. Where is... <laughs> My wipies. Where the heck? <laughs> Did it fall? Here it is. Darn, it's under them feathers from yesterday. Thank you, Teresa. You're so sweet. Gosh. So, this is just simple, okay? No rhyme or reason. Let me get a smaller brush, something like this, okay? Okay. Maybe try soldering it on. I have a soldering thing, but it, I don't think it solders wood very well. So, I think we just got to use glue. But we'll be all right, I think. All right. So, what I'm going to do is just get some paint on my brush here. And we're just going to do it kind of like this. I want them kind of oval. And then we're going to go about right in here. Now, let's see. I might need just a hair more. All right. So now I've got those, but we got to dry them. Yeah, soldering would be good, but it's wood and metal, so I don't know how that would work. Let me do this pretty good here. 
<laughs> I was just thinking about putting that where it looked like he had had eyes going in like that, <laughs> cross-eyed. I don't know if we want that or not. Any luck on finding a job that you want? No, not yet, unfortunately. I'm trying, but I just want to be, to have a fun job or a job that I'd want before I go. I'd hate to quit, you know? So I'm trying to get what I want. Let me, mm. All right, so I'm taking this, and it has a little back on it. See that? I'm taking that off. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to do this until I can do that and this. All right. So here is this. He can sort of look. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me see if I can get this up. Look at that. One up and one down. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. I don't want it to look funny. <laughs> I'm not, well, this one is easy. Anybody can do this one. So I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle. And over to the side a little bit. <laughs> but the funny, it's funny up and down like that. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this on, and then we're going to put this. Kind of just put it in the center here. Same thing. Probably got too much glue. If I could take some off with this, be good. And then, let me see where this one's going to go. I'm just going to have to look at it. Get this back on. I'm hoping this will stick and be okay after that. Hmm, hot. Hot as Hades. Look at all these feathers everywhere from last night. I'm going to be doing feathers forever. And it's the season for the feathers. So it's a mess. All right, let me see here. We're going to paint that a little bit more on that little white edge that I took off on accident. Just kind of, kind of dab that on there where I messed it up. He's so cute. He is kind of cute. All right. Now let me dry that. And he don't have to be perfect. We got to put some blush on him though. We're going to put it here and in his ears. So that should be cute. All right, got my blush. Yeah, we're gonna put it up here first, just cause I can. All right, whoop, forgot, I gotta do that too. Hey, Angela. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. And then I'll pick him up so y'all can see him. All right. Because it wants to come off. It's wanting to... Let's 
So see, isn't he cute? He needs some eyelashes. Okay. What I probably need to do is put something up underneath here. So it will, which I don't know what. This maybe, no. <laughs> A wad of something. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. All right. Now, what do we say? Lashes. Let me get a, a brush. And let me get some black. It might need some, um, some white. But then it'll look funny if I do it that way. I think we can see enough. And I'm going to go around the top with the black. Let's just see what that looks like. Oh, it's cute. All right, hold on. I'm only doing the top. Okay. Do y'all see the lashes? Can y'all see it there? <laughs> it looks really cute. But it does need to sit overnight. And I'm going to put this up so it's more level. Because that stuff's on the back and it's on the heavy part of the back. Now, it probably needs a white in the eye. A white dot. And that does make it look better. wonder if I can do this real thin right here. There we go. Let's see if I can dry it. You love him? I think he's pretty cute. That's kind of too wet right there. I'm going to have to go over it again. But the dot is okay. See, if you have one of these, you can use it. Make yourself one. I don't know where I got these two, but you could use even bigger ones. But to me, it just needs its smaller ears for that. Get some of my junk out of the way. I wish I could have used this. That would have been so much easier and better. But if you don't have a long bristled brush, and this is like half of the... Remember how they used to be like two inches? They're not like that anymore. At least I can't find it without it being expensive. So, let me see if I can get a little bit more white on here without so much water. Yeah, that's better. So see, how cute, right? Thank you so much for the hearts. You love him. I do too. He turned out really cute. If these were a little bit bigger, they probably would have been better. But they're good. They're not too bad. But he's cute, right? My little Highland cow. <laughs> so I'm going to like let it sit overnight. And then it should be a whole lot better. It will adhere to it, and it'll be a lot better. You love him. Thank you so much. I'm glad y'all enjoyed this. 
Oh, I guess I can put it up now. <laughs> so y'all can see me. Woo! Uh, hey, Nancy, thank you. You're going to look for an old cowbell. It's hard to find cowbells. I just happened to see this one, and I'm like, okay, how much is this? It's expensive. You know, sometimes they want a lot for something like this. I mean, this one was all broken, you know. I guess a cow could have used it if they wanted to put it on there. Thank you so much for being here, Miss Patty. It was kind of a fast craft, wasn't it? Thank you, Tommy Sue. Y'all are so sweet to be here. And is there anything y'all need or want from me? Do y'all want to see anything in specific next time? Because I'll be on again on Sunday. I won't be on the next couple days. You could use wood spoons for the ears. Just cut handles off. That's what I did. That's what I did for these. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. I appreciate it. Thank you, Gail. Thank y'all for being here. A bunny. Okay, I'm going to do a bunny. I have a couple bunnies that I'm thinking about. And I'm going to look into that. I've got a couple of bunnies. You know, so, um, try not to do things that other people are doing. I mean, it's bunny season, so I want to do a lot of bunnies. I do like bunnies. Um, I did a chick last night, so that was the first Easter thing. So, I'm definitely going to do some bunnies because I like bunnies. Who's my bald friend behind? Oh, I bought this to make, I don't know if I posted it yet. It may be posting tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make the Queen of Hearts. That's what I was going to show y'all. Look, Okay, I had this lamp, okay? What does this look like? <laughs> if you put... Hold on. Now, this one's not big enough, okay? But put this on the bottom. What does that look like? <laughs> it's a hat. So I'm going to do that, but I don't want it a pink hat, a bodice. <laughs> it does look like a bodice. No, it looks like a body. <laughs> it's going to be a hat, the Mad Hatter's hat. And I wanted to make the um, queen, you know, the queen of hearts, my version of her, not the queen of hearts, but y'all know. But I kind of wanted to do them one craft one day, one another day. And we're going to do that. I want to paint the face on. I want it to kind of look cute. Or, besides the Queen of Hearts, I thought about painting Johnny Depp's character in the movie. Or at least my rendition of it. It may not be perfect, obviously. Um, but I thought about doing him. But this really is a female, but it doesn't matter because he kind of looks effeminate in the movie. And he's, isn't he the Mad Hatter? You know, so I kind of thought about doing him. Which one would y'all rather see, the Queen of Hearts or the Mad Hatter? Because he kind of looks out there. I loved him in that. Even though I haven't seen the movie, I just feel like it's probably excellent. But that's what I'm going to do. But I've got to cut out a circle that's bigger than this because this one's not big enough. But the other one that I have is too big. So I've got to do got to do cutting for that. I'll try to behave. You want to do the Queen of Hearts? It's going to look really cute, okay? So we're going to do the Queen of Hearts then. We'll do the Queen of Hearts and we'll do the Mad Hatter's hat. But I'm going to kind of decorate it up. It's not going to just be the hat, okay? It's not just going to be a plain old hat. But um, this this lampshade is kind of funky. So I've got to, or this was part of the lampshade. I kind of took it all apart. So um, anyway, but that's what we're going to do soon, okay? I don't know when. I've got to sit there and figure out what I'm going to do with the hat. So we may do this next. Or I might do a bunny first. I don't know. I got to think of all these things, you know. So tomorrow I'll be thinking of it. 
But um, I will see y'all on Sunday, and I will post when I'm going to come on. It probably will be after lunch so people can get back from church if they wish to go to church. And um, that way people can see and they don't have to watch the replay, although I guess it doesn't matter. Replay, live, whatever. All right. So y'all have a good evening, and I will see y'all on Sunday, okay? Thanks for joining me tonight.